everyone in today's video i'm going to show you all how to make this slider pop up card I will mention all the materials I have used in the description box. So let's get into the video. First, I am taking a paper of measurement 14 cm into 10 cm. Next, I am taking my pencil and scale and I am marking 1 cm on the bottom side. Next, I am marking 1 cm on this side of the paper. Then. I am marking 1 cm on the top and lastly I am marking 1 cm on this side. So basically I have just marked 1 cm on all 4 sides of the paper. Next I will make a cut on 3 of these lines. This line, this line and this line. So I will make a cut on the top line. Now with the help of a paper cutter, I'll make the cuts like this. Next with the help of my embossing tool, I'm going above the top line, the line which is not cut. And I am going to make a fold like this. Now I am scoring a line of 6 cm in the inner square. And I am going above it with my embossing tool. And then I am folding like this. So here the basic framework of my card is ready. Next I am going to cut out a strip of paper of measurements 17 cm into 1.5 cm. And I am going to take my first paper and pass it like this. And apply glue on this end and paste it like this. And this is how my card should look like at this point. And next I am taking a paper of measurement 14 cm into 10 cm. And I am taking a pattern paper of the same measurements that is 14 cm into 10 cm. You can use whatever pattern paper available to you right now or you can use colored craft paper or anything. It's totally up to you how you want your card to look like. Now I am sticking this pattern paper onto this paper. Next. I am taking the paper I had cut out previously and I am flipping it like this and I am applying glue on all the sides. Note that I am not applying glue below the strip. Next I am going to paste this on my pattern paper like this. At this point the card should look something like this. Next, I am taking another piece of paper of measurements 12 cm into 8 cm and I am taking a pattern paper of the same measurement that is 12 cm into 8 cm. Here again you can substitute the pattern paper with any paper that you have as I have said earlier. Next, I am going to paste this pattern paper onto this first paper like this. 
Now I am going to apply glue only on the lower section of the card and I am going to paste this piece here like this and here my card is almost done and now it's time to decorate it. This part is totally up to you how you want to decorate your card. Here I have just written down a sentiment on a piece of paper and I am going to paste it onto a black paper so that it looks something like this. Next I am taking a flower and some leaves that I have made out of paper using quilling technique previously. Again you can use any type of flowers or ornaments to decorate your card. So I am just arranging my elements and then I am placing it with glue. in the comments if you have any questions and don't forget to hit the like button and the subscribe button and see you all in the next video bye